Welcome back to uh, KNL Farms, and uh, my name, first name's Ken, and I'll give you a little setup. I don't know if you can see it on the frame, but I got a brush pile going for my fire prevention. But uh, there's threat of snow. I think it's going to snow today by the end of the weekend. I know we're going to have snow on the ground now. I don't know how much. I don't know if it's going to be six inches where I live. It can be six inches. It can be 20 inches. So uh, had the brush hog on, doing my fire prevention. And now I need to put the back blade on. The back blade does a couple things for me. I need a six by six for the homestead cabin off of the sawmill. And it puts counterweight and it also makes the tractor more stable. So here in a minute, I'll shift you around and show you me putting this back blade on. I don't know if you've seen it before, but I thought it would be interesting to the people, interesting to the people that haven't seen it before. And the other thing is, if I get um, uh, quite a bit of snow, I need to uh, be able to do the driveway. And I do the driveway quite a bit with uh, that back blade. I back blade that, that driveway, the snow off the driveway, so we can commute from, from the blacktop to the, to the house back and forth. So let me shift you around. I'll probably have to start the tractor. It'll be extremely loud, so I won't be able to communicate. So I was just trying to catch you up a little bit uh, with what I got going on today. Okay, so now you're shifted around, you're moved, you can see the three-point hitch. Normally I get started, I put a five-gallon bucket underneath the, the back blade, a three-point hitch, three points of contact, this one, this one, and this one. I normally put this one in first because it's generally the easiest and it gives me some physical control of the back blade. And see, now I'm going to have to pick it up a little bit in order to get that pin in. Okay, I start out like that. I'm gonna put that in. Now, flare this out a little bit, and this one out a little bit. Now, I'm probably gonna go down on this side if I still have hydraulics without the tractor in, and try and get that pin in, and then fight this pin. I might have to jockey it around, but I got a pinch bar on the in the tractor right now. So give me just a second, and I'll try and do that. Okay. Now I'll get the hammer. Put my glasses on. Okay. Now I'll try and tap that on there a little bit. Like that. I'll illustrate. Remember I said on the last one of the last videos I lost this keeper pin. Put that keeper pin on that side. Now, this is generally the hard one. And well, let me see if I got if I can lower that down at all. Yeah, the keeper pins in inside. Now my tractor doesn't have a toolbox on the side. A lot of tractors do. Mine doesn't. Okay, I may have to try and start the tractor.
Now all I gotta do is pick up my mess. There's a trailer directly behind the camera. Utility trailer. Stack my stuff up. Get the tractor started back up. Go get the forks. Put the forks on the tractor. Then I can go the next video. The next video will be uh, on the sawmill. I need a six by six, I think I already explained it. For the uh, for the uh, off-grid cabin, but I need to go stoke the fire, and I can't go to the sawmill because I need to take I have need to have physical control of that fire. My fire prevention prevention equipment's in the back of the truck, so I'll probably end this video, clean up my stuff, and then tomorrow's video. No, I'm sorry, it won't be tomorrow. The next video you see will be. Uh, in fact, probably the sawmill. Me cutting another one. But uh, thanks again for watching, and have a good day.